this video series, we're going to be talking about short game mechanics and ideas. And if you wait till the end, there's going to be a great drill that really help you train the right mechanics. I've always believed that you have to train what the club head needs to do before what the hands need to do before what the shoulders need to do. And I know a lot of golfers nowadays, they focus on the bigger muscles before the smaller muscles and I, I just don't believe in that. Uh, I feel like you can hit a chip shot with just the club head moving and the club pivoting around the butt end, but it's very difficult to do when it's moving in the opposite direction. I see a lot of great players that struggle with their short game where they're focused so much on their lower body moving and turning and saying, am I rotating, am I, is my head not going back or forward? And they just assume that their club head is moving in the right direction. And I think the idea, you, you have to train it in the opposite direction and say, okay, what is my club head not doing? And then get the club head to move where it needs to and then get the, up, the hands to accommodate that and, and the shoulders to accommodate the hands and the body to accommodate the shoulders. So a great example of this is I'm going to hit a shot here where just the club head's going to move and not the butt end of the club. It's going to be a short shot. Very solid, very wristy, but I see a lot of players, this is, a, this is a, one of the common things that I see, is they try not to use their hands and their club goes, and they bottom out behind the ball and they hit it fat. And they don't realize that their club is hitting behind it. They do realize it, but they just keep moving their upper body trying not to hit it fat and it gets it gets your hands in a very awkward spot instead of understanding the club head needs to be getting more ahead of your general center so we're, we're going to be talking a lot about general centers in the series of where it goes another common mistake is just how the body rotates and how we get so obsessed of our weight shifting and our body rotating. If you watch any beginner, they do not chip like this, where the body moves a lot and the club travels a little. Anyone athletic, their hands are more forward. Nothing moves except they kind of have this idea that this thing, the club head, needs to be moving in a certain direction and hit the ball a certain way. And if you watch my upper body, my upper body will move, but it really won't rotate too much. And I, this is something I really like to see in, in basic chipping mechanics, where it's not facing the target. Too many moving parts. So another thing, another common mistake, and this is a very advanced for a much more advanced players, is if you look down the line, you will have players where their club going up and down is really on plane, but the shoulders and the body is not close to where it needs to be because it's getting so steep, they just dropping the club more and more underneath while getting the shoulders more and more open. And understanding that, that causes the club to get more steep than you can ever imagine. I prefer to get the club on plane while the shoulders are moving a little bit more 
rocking under opposed to rotating open. So we can agree on where the club head needs to go, as long as we can agree on where the club head needs to go, and then we can, the secondary part is, let's try to figure out what's a better way to move our body to accommodate that position. Perfect ball contact there. Here's a great exercise that you can train yourself and even film yourself. Where to really understand where your hand, what your hands need to do, where your shoulders need to be. You can hit a couple shots with just your right hand and just your left. And today we're gonna focus on just the right. We're gonna hit some chip shots where we use just our right hand and the perception is this and what will happen is that all right right here got a very very narrow stance hands are gonna feel forward and I'm gonna feel like I do not break this wrist at all and try to make good ball contact Now the common mistake is our perception is to do that, but we'll look that way. So if you dare to, film yourself doing it. Hands forward, I'm gonna keep that position. Try that a few times and film yourself and understand what this is teaching your hands, your shoulders. You'll start to understand it's very hard to hit when you start rotating your body open, especially if you do it left-handed. We're not so focused on the left hand today, but if you ever hit a ball left-handed, you'll realize that when you start turning open, it is very difficult to hit a very uh, a basic chip shot. Thanks for watching this video. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or what your favorite drills are and let me know what your chipping ideas are. If you haven't already, subscribe, hit that like button and can't wait to see you in the next video.